Welcome to the tutorial on how to change the mold on the angle injection molding machine. When entering the plastics lab, there are two main rules that should be followed. Safety glasses, closed toed shoes, and long pants should always be worn. Food and drink must be left outside the lab. Turn on the angle and flip the gray power switch located on the front of the machine. From here, turn around and press the green button to start the motor. Hard hats are located in the back of the lab on top of the yellow flame cabinet. Each person using the crane must be wearing a hard hat. Hot gloves should be used whenever working with hot objects around the injection molding machine. Hot gloves are located over by the rotor molding station. To ensure lab safety, your work area must be clean. Other safety considerations to consider inside the lab is to remove all watches and jewelry from your hands. This is to ensure that you do not damage the mold. Tools are located in the brown rolling tool bench down in front of the injection molding machine. The zip ties are located in the first drawer. The second drawer down contains the brass tools. And the next drawer down are the pliers. Below that is where all the setup material can be found. Underneath that drawer is all the equipment for mold loading. The bottom drawer is where all the clamps and bolts can be found. The only tools that may be used with these molds are the brass tools and the copper wool. This is so that these tools do not damage the mold. The molds are located in the mold storage closet along the right hand wall. Once you locate your mold, roll it out and take it back to the injection molding machine. To check to see what your oil temperature is, reference the control panel and look for the temperature selection. From here, look up at the screen and notice that selection number three is for oil temperatures. Select number three on the keypad and reference your oil temperature. Your oil temperature must be 90 degrees in order to open the mold. At the top of the control panel, you can see the indicator lights. These indicate the motor on and the heat on. Below this, we see mold height. Under this is heat. Further down is injection. Ejection, nozzle and clamp, automation, start and emergency stop buttons. For mold removal, locate a ratchet wrench in a 15 16 inch socket. Remember, lefty loosey to remove these bolts. Once the bolt is loose enough, they can be removed by hand. Collect the clamps and bolts and set them aside for later for mold loading. With the clamps safely removed, the piece of wood can be removed beneath the mold. Once each clamp and bolt has been removed, close the front and rear safety doors. Turn on the machine motor by pressing the green button and open the platens using the clamp open switch.
With all the clamps and bolts removed, the platens open and the chain attached, the mold can be removed. But remember, hard hats must be worn when working with overhead equipment. With this process being done with a minimum of two people, raise the mold to a height above the tie bars. Make sure the mold does not scrape or hit along either of the platens. Swing the mold over the top of the rolling tool bench and slowly lower the mold down. With the mold safely on the rolling tool bench, roll this tool bench aside. Next, bring the mold to be loaded in front of the platens. With this new mold, ensure that there are zip ties attached to the brass water connections. Next, throw the eye bolt into the eye bolt hole on top of the mold to assist with mold loading. With at least two people, carefully raise the mold off of the dolly. The mold rids above the tie bars. Swing the mold between the two open platens. Ensure that the locating ring faces the locating ring hole. From here, carefully lower the mold into place. To ensure that the mold is positioned correctly on the A platen, see the bottom of the locating ring and the locating ring hole. From here, have the lab partner push the mold against the A platen, while another lab partner tightens the chain slightly, ensuring that the mold rests flat against the platen. Close both of the safety doors to the machine. Once this is done, go ahead and close the B platen onto the mold. Now that the mold has been secured between the platens, insert a piece of wood under the mold to ensure nothing falls to the ground. Select a clamp that is appropriate for the mold you are loading. The clamp should rest perpendicular to the mold when secure. With the bolt and clamp, locate the hole closest to the mold that will secure the clamp in place. Screw the bolt in by hand, then insert the clamp. Tighten the bolt onto the clamp using a socket wrench and a 15 16 inch socket. It should be noted that for this particular mold, only one clamp will be able to fit. However, most molds require two clamps for each side of the mold on each platen. Set the torque wrench at 70 foot pounds. Ensure that there is a 15 16 socket attached to the torque wrench. Torque down the bolt holding the clamp in place until you hear and feel the break. Do not continue to torque down the bolt as this will stretch the threads on the bolt. Do not forget to remove the plywood. Next, remove the zip ties on the bottom of the mold by cutting them with the pliers found in the second drawer of the tool bench. The last step before opening the platens is to remove the chain. Slacken the chain and remove the hook from the eye bolt. With the mold secured to each platen with the appropriate number of bolts and the chain removed from the mold, the platens can be opened. Close the safety door, turn on the motor, and open the platen with the clamp switch. With the mold secured and the platens open, the water lines can be connected. Grab all four water lines from under the platens and connect one red line to each mold half, then attach the remaining two lines. Locate the yellow ball valve and turn it parallel to the pipe to turn on the water. Next, to use the mold heater, turn the two yellow ball valves parallel to their lines. Then press the green button on the mold heater to turn it on. 
for the mold to work properly, the daylight between each half of the mold needs to be properly set. To adjust daylight, turn the mold height switch in the correct direction. Increase will separate the mold halves and decrease will bring the mold halves closer together. It may take some time to set the daylight correctly for your mold. While adjusting the daylight, make sure to check that the knee locks out. Here the knee does not lock out and here the knee does lock out. This is what you want. To ensure that you have the daylight and clamp force set correctly for your mold, refer to the clamping screen on the monitor. Select the button on the top row to the far left. From here, reference the screen to check your clamp tonnage. With the mold loaded properly and in the angle injection molding machine, it's time to clean up the lab space. All tools must be placed back into their proper storage locations. Once this is done, you have the green light to begin processing. This concludes this instructional tutorial on how to load and unload a mold on the angle injection molding machine. This video was produced by John Davis and Curtis Horton.